the Coastal Bend Sports Authority, Alan Harwell, with your Chris 6 Sports Report. Hi, good evening, everybody. As we first reported earlier in this newscast, top-ranked Refurio went head-to-head -head with the number two-ranked Shiner Comanches tonight up in Victoria in the Class 2A Division I quarterfinal. Patrick Johnstone is in Victoria, and he's got all your game coverage. Patrick? Alan, both these teams came into this one undefeated. The Refurio's last loss coming to this team a year ago in this round. Bobcats trying to avenge their last loss a year ago, but it's going to be the Comanches on the board first. Keelan Brown pass tipped and picked off by Tyler Bishop. That's going to set up a short score. Dalton Brooks dives over the pile for the score. The Comanches lead early 7-0, and the Comanche fans are loving that. Once again, it is Brooks up the middle. Extra point is no good, but the Comanches have a 13-0 lead. Caleb Hasseltine comes in at quarterback. He hands it off to Isaiah Bland. That's a 30-yard gain at the end of the first. Bobcats are down 13-0, but looking to score going into the second. It's Bland to the outside. He gets the touchdown. Bobcats bring it within one score, 13-7. But it's the rushing game for the Comanches giving problems to the Bobcat defense. Brown had rushes of 71 and 83 yards for touchdowns. The Comanches added another ground score before they have to make it 35-7 at the break. The Comanches cruised in the second half to get the 55-14 victory. I spoke with head coach Jason Herring after the game, and he gave praise to his opponents. Yeah, they're, they're better than us. That's all there is to it. Uh, like we, we had some chances early, you know, we dropped the pass, you know, yeah. but I don't know in the end. In the end, I don't think we were going to stop them, and I don't, and you know, we, we tried everything in the book. We tried running the football, uh, we tried throwing the football, we tried both quarterbacks. I mean, screens, we tried everything. Uh, they just, they do a great job. They're very athletic, they're very well coached. So the Bobcat season comes to an end here in Victoria. They finish the season with a record of 13 and 1. Reporting in Victoria, Patrick Johnstone, Chris X Sports. All right, now we're down to just two local teams, and it's tomorrow night. The Eagles and the Hornets in a battle of a rematch from earlier this season. Season, of course, it's the 5A Division I quarterfinals. Highlights will have live shots from Flower Bluff tomorrow night at 5, 6, and 10. Looking forward to that game. All right, 